Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to create an LVMs. Um, actually, I'm using a VMware workstation for this. Um, I have two hard disks, uh, virtual hard disk. One is one named SDA and SDB. Uh, today I'll, I'm going to create an LVMs in the SDB uh, or hard disk. So let's give F disk iPhone L. So first create a normal partition for that uh, using F disk slash D slash STB and for N I'll give a primary partitions of uh, I'll add a three partition for this of uh, 100 MB I'll add one more partition P2 of same size of 300 MB size so let's give one more partition so let us write the disk for, uh, for writing uh, give a w key uh, so now it's synchronizing uh, part prop for kernel updation give a part prop for kernel updation so now the partitions are created right now so these three partitions uh, sdb1 2 and 3 so let's start creating an lvms first uh, we want a physical volumes like that so give a command called pv create slash du slash sdb i want to create at a time one two comma three so three are uh, three physical volumes is created on this physical wall on top of this physical volume i want to create a volume group uh, for that we create create slash uh, I want to create give a volume group name I will give it as a data slash the slash sdb uh, one or sdb two comma slash d slash sdb three so now the volume group is created uh, for checking purpose vg display vg display tells you the volume group names how much size the volume size is uh, even for the physical volumes also we pv display so these are the three physical volume we are we use right now so on top of the volume group let us create an logical volume combining these three uh, physical volumes so for that lv create iphen l iphen l is the volume group name so just give a volume group name and size of the volume 300 m and iphen n is for uh, logical volume name name of the logical volume so I'll give it as a backup data sorry sorry for that S so now uh, logical volume backup is created right now so for checking purpose LV display is the command display so for here the total content of logical volume uh, that logical volume size will be displayed uh, now we want to mount a file like uh, creating a file and it mounting a file so let us create a directory named tests so let us make a file of mkds.ext3 i want to give a total part of that uh, slash data slash backup So it's, it will be written in as blocks information. So now we want to mount a file mount slash the slash data slash backup on the test drive. So yeah, this this one is our logical volume. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video, uh, thanks a lot.